stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, then yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch, then yarn over and draw up a loop, and now with five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. Now chain one, and now you have one more berry stitch completed. Now we'll make one slip stitch in the next stitch. To start the next berry, yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop, then yarn over and draw through one loop. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch. Then yarn over and draw up a loop. Now with five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. Now chain one. And now you have another berry stitch completed. Now we'll make one slip stitch in the next stitch. And now you can continue working your way across, making one berry stitch followed by one slip stitch all the way across. To start row 3, chain 1. This will count as your first single crochet. Then turn your work over. Now skipping the chain 1, make one slip stitch in the top of the berry stitch. And make one single crochet in the next stitch. And then again, skipping the chain, make one slip stitch in the next berry. And one single crochet in the next stitch. And skip the chain and make one slip stitch in the next berry. And one single crochet in the next stitch. Now you can continue working your way across, making one slip stitch followed by one single crochet all the way across. To start the fourth row, chain one. This is going to count as your first berry stitch. Then turn your work over. And now we'll make one slip stitch in the next stitch. To make a berry stitch, yarn over and insert your hook into the stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Now with five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. Now chain one. And now we'll make one slip stitch in the next stitch. To 
To make the next berry stitch, yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. And yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Now with five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. Now chain one, now we'll make one slip stitch in the next stitch. And now you can continue working your way across, making one berry stitch followed by one slip stitch all the way across. The row will end with a slip stitch in the last stitch, so you'll have two slip stitches at the end of this row. To start row 5, chain 1. This counts as one slip stitch. Now turn your work over. Now we'll make one single crochet in the next stitch. Now skipping the chain, we'll make one slip stitch in the next berry stitch. And then one single crochet in the next stitch. And skip the chain and make one slip stitch in the berry stitch. And one single crochet in the next stitch. Then skip the chain and make one slip stitch in the next berry stitch. Continue working your way across, making one single crochet followed by one slip stitch all the way across. To continue working this pattern, repeat rows 2 through 5 as many times as you'd like. 